Hi, thanks everybody joining us uh, today. We have a wonderful expert talking about GPUs. So welcome to the next segment of the Extreme Performance Series Video Blog Edition. And I think one of the interesting topics that a lot of folks are, are speaking about is the idea of accelerators. So GPUs that in our world, vGPUs. And I have Lon joining us uh, from our performance team today to share a, a little bit of information around what she's thinking about and what she's doing. So Lon, uh, give yourself an introduction, please. Yeah, hi, Mark and Todd. Uh, I'm very glad that you to have me on this very interesting uh, discussion about which video on this video. And um, um, about me that I, I um, have been working at VMware for seven years um, in performance teams. And um, I used to work on VDI and then uh, work on a VMware Cloud. And now my primary focus is on um, machine learning and AI using GPU on a vSphere platform. Well, that's great because, you know, certainly we think of those as accelerators, right? Yes. Uh, they make things go faster. And so a lot of people don't kind of think that they line up with virtualization, mm -hmm. right? Virtualizing yes. those has to kind of cost. So um, I know you're going to share some stuff with us. So what do you have for us today, Lon? Uh, today, that like um, I would like to discuss some use case of using VGPU to accelerate uh, HAI and telco workload. Uh, more specifically, that like we present our uh, study of performance of network uh, function virtualization using VGPU in vSphere. So this is kind of a forward-looking space, right? You know, the idea of using GPOs with telco workloads. You know, so we're ahead. We're thinking ahead of where those organizations are going to be and what they're going to want. Correct. Yeah, exactly. Um, currently, for uh, virtual GPU, that primary use is, is for um, for um, accelerate graphic workload on um, VDI, and we use it for ML and AI acceleration. And telco is some space that we're looking forward to, like uh, apply for um, uh, BGPU in in this sphere as well. That's great. Okay, I hear you have some slides for us. What do you have today, Lon? Yes, so um, here's, um, we will discuss our network function virtualization with VGPU in vSphere. So certainly, obviously, NVIDIA, a big player that way. I see that we have highlighted that idea of, you know, smart NICs and, and kind of the offload space. Um, tell us, you know, a little bit more about, say, where we're going. What, what are we doing with network function virtualization? Maybe we should start with what that is at first. Yeah, so let's first uh, talk about the NVIDIA VMware AI Ready platform. Um, you can see at the bottom of is uh, the red circle. Um, this is component is NVIDIA SmartNIC DPU. And uh, with NVIDIA uh, Bluefield 2X, which is the, the next uh, generation uh, of, of the um, processor, it will consist an additional um, NVIDIA Ampere uh, so in this case, uh, the TPU in uh, Bluefield 2X or later uh, would be used to uh, mainly accelerate network-based application like HAI and telco workloads. And um, this is one of the reasons uh, why we explore the capability of VGPU for uh, Ampere GPU uh, using um, for network function and virtualizations. So let's do a quick review on that. So what, is, what are network function virtualizations here? Network function is a building block uh, of uh, network infrastructure and some example of functions like a uh, firewall proxy, IPsec, or a network intrusion detection system. And this net network function um, traditional is deployed on the, the specialized hardware. Um, and the cost for this uh, specialized hardware um, normally very high. With that, then um, we have the network function virtualization. It's a solution that to have the investment cost on a pay out, uh, uh, proprietary hardware by virtualizing network function, regular computing platform like CPU or GPU. So the idea, this is what we're doing with some of our NSX stuff, right? We've already turned it yeah. to virtualization. So how does GPUs help us accelerate this? Where do they fit? Uh, the benefits of using GPU, um, in this case, uh, we want to, um, in our study, we want primary focus on uh, using virtual technique to enhance the performance uh, of network function even further compared to the case of using traditional uh, GPU for acceleration. And as, uh, based on our study, we uh, have seen that sharing uh, um, physical GPU hardware with multiple virtual machines. So that's where I could see the benefit of virtualization, right? We can take yes. that yes. hardware device, 
we yep. can improve the performance of the telco based, you know, NFEs. Right. It's more secure and we can still use it for mm -hmm. the VDIs and the MLAI worlds and stuff like that all at the same time. That sounds yeah, amazing. Yeah. yeah. So what, what does some of the data look like? Tell me about some of the experiments that you've done. Uh, here's uh, the first experiment that we have done is compare uh, performance um, of network function uh, between path through GPU and, and vGPU. Uh, because one of the, the key questions that we um, very uh, frequently have uh, by customer is what the overhead of vGPU compared to the bare metal. And we can see the overhead between 2K is a very minimum. Um, the, the, the number here show the throughput GPS uh, of, of the IPC network. Uh, similarly, on the right side is the path through and VGPU for N NIDS um, and the, the overhead, you can see that like very minimum. So it, it shows the, the, the benefit of virtualization without much as, uh, like sacrifice in terms of like performance. So good. So the, the baseline is no overhead using GPUs, VGPUs at this point. Makes yeah. sense. Right. Okay. So let's talk about the, the idea of sharing here then. Yeah. Uh, uh, here, I would like to sh uh, show the next experiment we, we do uh, that really showcase the, the key benefit of using virtual GPU compared to the key of using GPU uh, without sharing network uh, uh, function, which is IPsec uh, inside a VM. And we start scaling uh, from one to two to four VM. Uh, each VM has one VGPU and, and all of these VMs sharing a single uh, physical um, GPU, which is uh, A100 that we have here. Uh, so uh, you can see that the number of hardware doesn't change. We have only one GPU. Just the difference is, uh, is the number of VM concurrently run same workload and, and sharing um, sharing a single hardware. And uh, with, with the cavity of sharing hardware that we observe the increase in throughput from 16.6 uh, to uh, uh, 91 GPBS um, when run on, on inside 10 VM concurrently, um, which is like an increase of uh, 5.4 in terms of throughput. So the idea here that we really need virtualization to unlock this because right. just by using more VMs, accessing that single GPU, we've right. totally accelerated throughput by almost five and a half times, incredible. Yeah, yeah. That, that just imagine that instead of you have to invest uh, five different hardware to to get ninety one GPS. Now you just have one using virtualized techniques to set, get the same uh, performance. And so you have one more experiment to share with us. Is that right? Yes. Uh, and the final experiment that we want to show is the uh, NAI network use case. Uh, when we have the network function run concurrently with other machine learning and AI, because we use uh, VGPU uh, technology for acceleration, this workload, and we can run um, both workload on the same server. And, and, and um, here's the experiment that like we have done in which that like uh, we, we ran IP6 in one VM and um, we have a different number of uh, are the VM in which that we run um, uh, ML AI workload. In, in this case, particularly is uh, Masca CNN uh, that do uh, image segmentation. Uh, and uh, we scale from um, zero to three different number of like Masca CNN on, on the same server run concurrently with one VM uh, run IPsec. And uh, you can see that when we increase number of um, virtual machine uh, uh, that run MLAI workload, that like we, we see some re reduction in, in terms of like throughput of IP6, but the, the reduce is, is, is compared to the benefit that we can um, adding more MLAI workload to the server that deploy network function is a minimum and 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 in, in those case that like it really showed the the benefit that like can run multiple different type of workload without much suffering in terms of like performance for network function uh similarly uh an ice experiment with a uh, nids uh, workload uh, we run uh, concurrently with like mask and uh, workload with different number of like concurrent vm and the performance is uh really show that like not much Job in terms of like throughput for NIDS. So we kind of look at it and say, well, these, these GPUs are arguably somewhat expensive and rare, right? right? But we can virtualize them with no overhead. In fact, you could even argue we need vSphere to unlock the potential because we saw 
some of those data points where you said, you no, know, we can increase throughput just by using more software instances on the host. And then the scenario here where, again, we're mixing everything, right? Because that's yeah. what a lot of customers are doing, right? We, we yeah. want to get value out of the host and GPUs and in a cloud model, uh, this is what we're doing. Well, that that's very exciting, Lon. Thank you for kind of sharing with us what we've been doing and where we're moving towards. I'm very excited to watch that space. Thank you for joining us today. Yeah, thank you very much for hosting me. Great. Well, stay tuned for another episode of the Extreme Performance Series Video Blog Edition, edition coming soon.